now see a principle of superposition of waves till now we were studying only the about one wave when the wave is traveling in one direction what is its you know position or what is the equation for its uh, motion and also we were discussing its frequency its velocity angular frequency every parameters now here we have to take here the two waves suppose there are the two waves or the more than two waves traveling in one direction or maybe in opposite direction also so see here these two wave these waves superimpose on each other so now we have to see here the principle of superposition of waves so see according to this principle when a number of waves meet simultaneously at a point in a medium the net displacement at a given time is algebraic sum of the displacement due to each wave at that time see here in this graph i have taken two waves so one is represented by solid line and another is represented by dotted line so now the for the solid line y1 is uh, x and t and for the dotted line y2 that is a function of x and t here so these are the two displacement for the two waves at any time t now when they superimpose we will be writing here y x t is equal to y1 x1 t x t plus y2 x t so this is the total displacement of the wave at any time t when these two are superimposing and the net displacement is coming like this which is the sum of these two so when the crest is falling on the crest of the another wave the amplitude is increasing here because that is getting added up when the trough of the one wave is falling on the trough of the another wave also here the amplitude is increasing but with the opposite sign so according to the principle of superposition the net displacement of the superimposed wave at any time t is given by this equation now see the another example where the two waves are superimposing on each other in this manner this is the one is by solid li line another one is by the dotted line both are having the equal amplitude and traveling in such a way that the crest of the one wave is falling on the trough of the another wave in that case net displacement will be zero here and similarly net displacement will be zero here so the resultant wave is represented by thick line that means having zero displacement so this is an example where the two waves are superimposing but these where the trough of the one wave is falling on the crest of the another wave see here to illustrate the principle of superposition of wave let us take the two wave functions or you can say two waves which are represented by one is y1 xt here a sin omega t minus kx another one is your y2 xt here a sin omega t minus kx plus phi these are the two waves traveling in the positive direction of x and now having the same omega same k as a result they have the also same wavelength and same wave velocity these two waves are superimposing everything these parameters are same for the both the these equations and for the both the waves and this second wave as i have taken there is a initial phase difference between this and this is your phi when they superimpose so according to the principle of superposition y x t is equal to y 1 x t plus y 2 x t and we can write y x t is equal to a sin omega t minus k x plus a sin omega t minus k x plus phi now we have to solve this one we can solve by this equation is here sin alpha plus sin beta there is a formula that we can write here 2 sin alpha plus beta by 2 cos alpha minus beta by 2 so by putting by using this formula we can solve this equation so on solving 
we get y x t is equal to 2 a cos phi upon 2 sin omega t minus k x plus phi upon 2. So, see here this wave is here actually also a sinusoidal function and sinusoidal wave and see here there is a phase angle phi by 2 with respect to the either wave of like a y 1 and y 2. So, now see here there is a amplitude of this wave is represented by the amplitude of the resultant wave is represented by a is equal to 2 a cos phi by 2. If you are taking here suppose phi is equal to 0, if you are taking phi is equal to 0 then a will be you will be getting here maximum. It means when the two waves travelling in the same direction superimpose on each other and the crest of the one wave fall on the crest of the another wave and trough of the one wave fall on the trough of the another wave, then the net displacement at any time is here that is a maximum one and that is amplitude is here that is maximum of the resultant wave. Now, if we take phi is equal to pi that is 180 degree and we will be getting in that case amplitude is equal to here 0. So, if the two waves are traveling in the same direction and also have got their you know amplitude same and they superimpose on each other in such a way that the crest of the one wave fall on the trough of the another wave then the net displacement is 0 according to this or the net amplitude is here in that case is 0. Now, see here what are stationary wave or standing waves. See here let us see first definition of this standing wave or a stationary wave. So, when two progressive waves having the same amplitude, same wavelength, same time period and frequency traveling with the same speed along the same straight line in opposite directions superimpose a new set of waves are formed. These are called stationary waves. So, now this is the definition of a stationary wave. Let us discuss formation of a stationary wave in a string by graphical method. 